morning, guys. I don't know what pivotal news means. I have no idea what it means. So I can't say if it's pivotal news or not because I don't know what it means. Yeah, I know what the news is, but uh, I don't know what the word pivotal news means. Yeah, this token looks good. Just breaking out on the on the weekly. <coughs> I like it. HSH, yeah, China real estate. Oh, they're running this again. Okay.
let's 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 get to the questions uh, after the first first half hour. I have no time to answer any questions right now. Did Domo have earnings? Uh, taking out the no long range, but uh, only 20% revenue growth, that's not really what I'm looking for. But yeah, it can work, but uh, it's not really what I'm looking for. It's a little bit too slow. Yeah, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm gonna ignore all the random tickers. Um, you know, post a comment or a question with a ticker. Just putting tickers out there. This is. Uh, it's just spamming. CLDR. Ten uh, percent. They're ramping up profits, though. But ten uh, percent revenue growth. Not really what I'm looking for personally. All right, let's see here. Du, du, du. I was hoping for a gap up in this BA for a big trade, but unfortunately we're getting a gap down, so. So let's say I got stopped out of yesterday on half size and today they, it's I think it's pretty big news banking license um, digital banking license and license in Singapore let's see what the volume will be volume is the what determines this trade And Doku, I'm also watching that one. Thoughts on Sono? Yeah, it broke out four days ago. That was the entry. Otherwise, it looks good. But the entry was four days ago. That's the problem with Sono. Okay. Peloton breakout. Yeah, it broke out uh, four days ago. And that right now, it's just building higher lows after the breakout. EMPH, it needs to go sideways a bit more. I think the 50 day needs to catch up. Or if it, you know, just goes sideways a bit more. CLSK. 
Uh, yeah, I would wait for this thing a little bit more. Maxon, yeah, if, you know, the 10 and 20, they need to catch up probably. Okay, markets are open, good luck. I'm gonna focus on uh, SC and Doku. See if we get a trade on those. Okay, SC is kind of selling off for now. D dog, yep, I just moving. I'm also watching this MRNA on the short side. This is day three of the bounce. Maybe we, maybe there is something there. I did a small starter.
Marene looks like it's finding support on the rising 10 EMA in the 60 minute. But if it rejects into VWAP, I'm gonna add more. AOSL, uh, it doesn't look that good. DNLI, yeah, yeah, it broke out yesterday. Someone mentioned it. Yep. Yeah, DNLI, yeah, it was maybe not a five star, but it was a pretty decent setup. Congrats to those who bought Lyft a few days ago. I was hoping for one more day of, day of sideways. Yeah, some of the China names are pretty strong. The China indices are flagging really nicely. FXI, KWeb, Yin, all the China ETFs. I, I think these things, when they break out, could make big moves. So Doku looking decent so far for opening range highs. Volume is already average, which is exactly what you want to see. SC volume is far from average daily volume so the news you know apparently market is not really thinking it's big news but that may change so mrna looks like it's failing at vvap Appen, Appen, going, uh, well, it looks like it's going, so I don't know why you're asking me. It's been going for two days. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to answer there, since you're answering your own question. Xbev, if I add on the short, I can't add on the short, because I don't have a short on it, but... Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't see a setup here right now. Yeah, Silo is tightening. Silo is on my watch list. That is true. What is the oh it's a sub pen stuff, never mind. This S and DL, there's something intriguing about it. This is one of the highest volume stocks in the market. It's a 70 cent stock. But if you look at the dollar volume, it traded like 700 million worth of stock yesterday. Th that's pretty insane. If it just can go sideways a few more days, I will be interested in it. I wasn't interested in it in the 30 cent range. It's too low priced. It's still too low priced, but if it sets up perfectly, I will trade it. I, I have to. I have to trade it. Tesla. Uh, no, I added Tesla yesterday intraday when it broke this little intraday flag yesterday on the five minute. Right here, 590, high 593s. With a, <coughs> this is where I added this break of this intraday flag. It, it looks intriguing. It's, it's, I, I think it's going to have an insane run up into the, into the S&P edition. I really do. This QS is an interesting stock. There is something about it. Yeah, yeah, they have a run up. Yep, on the eighth, right? Yeah, December eighth. I don't know if it's pre uh, before the open or during the day or if it's after the close. That I don't know. Yes, and the uh, I saw that they had an offering. Uh, look, make no mistake, they're all pieces of shit. But that's not really our concern. Our concern is to buy them when they are going up. Um, so if this S and DL sets up again, I will I will buy it.
Why is this riot so much stronger than Mara? That's what I want to know. They're both... Uh, they have now both more than doubled since entry. Which is pretty nice. Big win for my Interactive Brokers account. The account where I buy this piece of shit stocks. PDD on the daily not so much on the on the 60 minute it is it's actually breaking out of a really tight 60 minute range um, so yeah I'm I'm passing on it but you know if you're into these types of setup sure SC slowly grinding back. Snapchat, am I not long it? Yeah, I am long it. If I like it here, adding today, why today? Just a random day. I don't get it. Yeah, B is setting up. Actually, it's breaking out today. Uh, okay, um, damn. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good looking setup. So far, MRNA uh, found support on this uh, 10 EMA and built another higher low. It's unfortunate that it gap down or actually uh, open break even. I would have preferred a uh, gap up. SPWR setting up, yes. PSNL, yeah, it is flagging nicely. Yeah, it's 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 actually a pretty decent looking setup. If you can break out on good volume, yeah. SC is taking out the highs. Beely, yeah, Beely look, no, sorry, Beely, uh, yeah, it's already at highs. TCS, yeah, it looks like a good setup, it does. APVO, Wait. Uh, guys, APVO is some buyout related stuff, don't ignore that one. Q 
QS. Uh, well, the setup is on the 60 minute. Just breaking out of a high tight flag on the 60 minute. That was the setup. But it's not a really, you know, the, the reason I'm buying it is it's the, they have this forward looking event and it's a super hot sector. So that's why, you know, I think it increases the odds of success. But the setup itself is not super high, right? Great, but just because it has these other factors. Oh, Doku hitting new highs, pretty nice. I wish I'd bought more. Workday. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, it's a slow stock. I, you know, this is not really something I'd like to trade, but it's a really slow stock. It's never been a great trading stock. That's the problem with. Just like now and Zen, also these are not great trading stocks generally. Oh, a lot of the solar and EV stocks are perking higher. WWR. Yeah, it's starting to set up. Yeah, there's a lot of the smaller oils are breaking out generally. LI setup? What's LI setup? I don't see a setup here. I mean, for on the short side? I don't see anything here right now. Yeah, Fastly is trying. Car, high tight flag. Uh, I wouldn't call it a high tight flag, but or maybe nah, I don't know. It looks like a grinder. Damn this BE. I guess I should have bought it. Mm. I sold a tiny bit of AMG, A AMG, AMD. Yeah, this rig is definitely setting up. This thing is setting up, yep.
rig breakout question mark? I don't know. Is it breaking out? Doesn't look like that to me. It's still below yesterday's the highs. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to answer or something that's so obvious. Uh, EMPH, is that one breaking out? Uh, well, I don't know if you can call this a breakout, but because there's no range here. Well, I guess on the 60s it's breaking out of a range, but I don't, I don't know if it's a good setup. Yeah, exactly. Why are oil and gas stocks strong right now? Well, because maybe they've uh, gotten cheap and uh, funds are buying them. Nvidia. Yeah, yeah. It needs to break out. This one I had two days ago. I, I sold the. Uh, I sold it yesterday. It needs to break out with some uh, force. Then I may buy it. I, I like the setup. Like this is the kind of stock you can risk like. I don't know. Five. Seven bucks to make. Hundred bucks. I need to put the eighty. I, I'm gonna put the average to range back. It, I need to put it back. So the average to reach is like 14 bucks. You're gonna risk like five, seven bucks. And this thing, yeah, breaks out. It's gonna go 100, 200 bucks easily. No. Yeah. Yep, it's straight up. I think it's gonna set up like a Palantir set up last week or early, was it this week? No, Friday I think it was. I think we're gonna have an ins if it keeps going another day or two. Man, this Tesla, holy shit. That one looks epic.
Blackberry, I don't see a setup here. TCS breaking out, question mark? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like a breakout to me. My, um, it may, it's, it's a little bit choppy maybe, but I, I think the setup is pretty decent. MRNA looks like it's trying to fail at VWAP, but it's still in... Uh, in a range. Industrial names, uh, which ones? IRWD setup? Yeah, it's a good setup. Maybe a bit high to buy it here, but... But yeah, it's uh, I mean, it's a decent setup. It's it's probably nothing, nothing. It's it's actually, uh, I don't know. I, I it's it's like the shoppiest stock ever. Just look at it. I mean, just look at it. I don't know. It's probably just gonna pull back tomorrow. I don't know. If it wasn't this uh, shoppy, I um, yeah, no, I I wouldn't be trading this thing. MRTX looks like a pretty decent setup. It's a slower mover, but it looks okay. What's this VLDR? Man, a lot of these names are waking up. EVs and solars and batteries and shatteries and all of these things. Plug is trying to come out of a range also. I'm not sure about this setup though. Why is the CIIC up? Do you have any news? Why is this thing up so much? Hmm. Oh, CIIC, Kramer pushed it? Okay. Good to know. Oh, okay. Thank you, guys. On CIIC. Yeah, ECB is moving.
VLDR, a laser sympathy play. Uh, let's see, what is this uh, laser? D -d 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 I'm not sure what they do. M maybe. I mean, they're they're all these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it could be. Some self-driving related things. Oh, SC hitting all-time highs now. Good. Doku is not as strong anymore, though. STPK uh, had the phase one news. No, sorry, not. Oh, yeah, STPK. Wait, wait. I'm thinking about another one. Um, it's one of these uh, SPACs. Uh, let's see. A company named STEM is coming public. I don't know what STEM is. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. Thank you. Global leader in... Oh, I, I, I love this, uh, these bullshit uh, descriptions. A global leader in artificial intelligence driven clean energy storage systems. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I love these. Good for them. So many bullshit words in one sentence. I still don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, they every buzzword. What's this AM? Man, these specs are also waking up. Looks like this. Mm. What's this CGRO? Collective growth. Like there's every day there's a new spec. CGR, let's see here. What is this? I don't get any news on this one. Man, this fastly starting to move out of this range. Oh, it looks so good on a weekly. Looks like mRNA is um, have been failing on VWAP a few times now, but it's still range bound. Yeah, LAC. Uh, yeah, well, it needs more time. PLL, W, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of these metal related stocks setting up. <clears throat> Kirk, if I went long 
mid november in the 10 area would you have sold most of your shares into this mid november 10 area yeah 17th november was the breakout day well if you if you had followed the instructions on the screen you would know the answer to this If you just type exclamation mark YouTube into the chat and you will get the answer to that question. No, I trade a bit differently because I have a big portfolio to manage. But it doesn't matter what I would do. The question is what you should you do. That's all that matters. I don't know what I would do. It depends. It depends on what my other uh, other parts in my portfolio are doing. Uh, Lego Land Rover Defender, really? Is there something like that? Lego Land Rover. Yeah, there is something called Lego Land Rover Defender. No, but Kirk, you know, the sell rules are simple. You sell uh, one third to half uh, on day three to five, and then you <coughs> trail it, trail the rest with the 10 day. No need to overthink it. Doesn't matter what I would do. What I would do depends on many other factors. Keep it as simple as possible. People are always trying to... Oh shit, Doku is crapping out. Why? SC is going straight up though. Yeah, PDD, that's what happens, you know, on mediocre setups. Like, there, there was really no setup there. That's what happens, you know. You, you need very specific setups to have an edge. If you trade without an edge, you know, you're gonna get killed. What's the play? Episodic pivot, earnings breakout, or earnings capper, I mean. When you add to a winner, well, maybe then don't add to a winner. Unless there is a very good setup to add.
What's the news on this H G S H? Can't find any news on it. Do I need to drink some Celsius? I don't I don't think so. Z is silo. Z and Z G are both silo. Getting really tight. mRNA is also getting really tight below the um, below VWAP here. Damn, I should have bought more on SC. I only bought 15,000 shares. Half size pretty much. Or maybe a bit more than half size, I mean. QS is probably going to stop me out. Peloton, yeah, just getting tighter. Come on, mRNA. Let's get a big fade here. W looks like it's done. VIX. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about VIX or W? I don't know. No, I didn't buy Doku pre-market. I bought it opening range highs. Oh, 
Oh, come on, mRNA. Can I explain the episodic pivot in Toku? Yeah, they had great earnings, big beat, big growth, gapped up, and it's breaking out of this uh, range, multi-month range. It's been building higher lows for like six months. That's the setup. Not having so much, very much juice so far, but. Um, That's the setup. Crowd strike from yesterday. Close kind of week and now it's starting to come back. CS taking a rest day from yesterday and ESTC also taking a rest day from yesterday. I think these things need to go sideways a bit. All of them pretty much. Just a bunch of oil and gas names in my in my scans. I totally missed this sector. Looking back, they had a bunch of flag breakouts like a few weeks ago. But I kind of missed all of them. This EOG is looking good today, actually, but ah. Uh, it's too late now, but it actually looks like a pretty decent breakout. Here. This rig looks explosive. Oh, looks like I got filled on BE on this little pullback. Okay. Uh, damn, I forgot I put the order in. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'll have to see how it closes them. Damn, I mean, it's in a bunch of shit stocks from today. Episodic pivot? Well, it depends. I swing and position trade them, but if you, you can day trade them too. Only your own imagination is setting the limits. You can trade them there whatever way you want. But first you need to study thousands of examples, otherwise you, will, you won't know what to expect. I didn't piss. I get. I didn't get pissed off of Kirk, on Kirk. Mm. 
Well, that's nice. Where do you go? Well, you can start with TC2000. Study thousands of episodic pivots. Look at the news. Look at the, what they, what happened on them. Uh, da -da -da -da. Snow. Oh man, this is going to be a great short uh, opportunity next week. I think it's going to be like Palantir, but I'm not going to screw it up like I did with Palantir. Do half size or even third size. I'm going to go full size. Puts on snow? Yeah, maybe I'll do puts instead of short. The equity. Yeah, trading view, you can go back even longer than that. Even longer than 15 years. You can go back like decades, many decades. <coughs> I got stopped out of SC yesterday, yeah. I had uh, half size got stopped out and I rebought it today on this news. Yeah, I'm trying to learn. I'm in touch with some guys on, 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 on Twitter. That I'm gonna learn options trading. It's just very specific scenarios. Where uh, it may not be favorable to, to do equity. Hexo, is it moving? Uh, I don't know what I must... Yeah, I'm gonna put an alert. This one I had like er, last week, I think. You like it on entry, well, but where's the entry? I, I like all the stocks I, I enter. But where's the entry on Hexo? Uh, some of these parabolic shorts um, that I don't want to hold overnight, that have uh, liquid options. Man, so many oil ga gas names. It has to be one of the uh, sectors where uh, with the most amount of stocks. Just so many uh, oil gas names. Semarene is still building lower highs. What if this thing goes back to like 140? Today, preferably. Probably not. Snow, yeah, it's because of a recent IPO, right? That's why the options are not that liquid. Am I still an mRNA? Why would I be not be? I've been in it for like 30 minutes. Or 50 minutes. Why wouldn't I be in, in it? <laughs> Intra ADR scan. Uh, this one. These these are uh, 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 um, what do you call them? American depository receipts. It's just a regular liquidity and ADR scan on on the ADR watch list. This this watch list in TC two thousand, the ADRs. LGVW, yeah, they're gonna merge with Butterfly Network, a global leader in democ democratizing medical imaging. Man, I love these things. STPK, they are a global leader in artificial intelligence, AI driven. It's so nice they put the AI 
too. So it's you know clear that artificial intelligence means AI driven clean energy storage systems. And then we have this this one. It's it's always nice to be in a global leader. Yeah, I'm a global leader. Well, I don't know about that, but if I'm going to be a leader, I'm going to be a global leader, not just a leader, not a local leader. I'm going to be a global leader. <laughs> oh, man. It's too fun. <laughs> Good for them. Damn, fastly. Oh. Mm. Now, this is also a scenario I, I would like to try to do some options. I'm, I'm going to try to do some options. How the hell did I do? Uh, I, I know I traded options a few years ago, like... No, I'm not gonna sell premiums. Uh, yeah, maybe it's a... So if I think this thing is gonna double in, a, uh, in the next couple of months, what options should I do? And nothing uh, complicated, credit spread, selling premium, I don't know what the fuck all these things mean. Fastly, 120 calls, 120 calls, what? Butterfly call spread, January 15, 95 strike. Guys, I just said, why would I buy next week calls if I think it's going to double in the next few months? Why would I be buy a next week call? Yeah, I, I need to study thousands of hours of option chains. Sell puts? No. Yeah, I know. There's a bunch of trolls and losers in the chat. I'm gonna ask my guys on Twitter. I think they're much smarter than... Uh, Almeister 29 uh, Where is he? Almeister uh, Ma'am, there's so many people spamming the chat with nonsense. God damn, I can't keep up uh, Can Almeister type again? Did Reno buy SDPK pre-market? Wait. Oh yeah, this is the one that we're merging. Yeah, okay. Oh, God damn. So I should buy January 15th, 95 strike. So, <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks, uh, Chuck Brownian. Uh, wait, 
Wait, how do you get the options uh, chains on um, interactive brokers? I've done it before, but it was a couple of years ago. Uh, oh, okay, I figured it out. Here it is. Or the March 60 calls. So what's the difference between the March 60 calls and... And the... Uh, January 15th, 95. Oh man, I hate options. Don't do the options. Options aren't worth my time. I I just try to avoid options as much as possible because there there's so many things that can go wrong with options. But on in certain scenarios, I I want to be able to use them. I I think very specific scenarios you can have a big edge trading options. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh man, like everyone is saying different things, like... Liquidity. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. How much uh, size should I do? So the January ones are gonna DK quick, okay. Uh. So if I buy, let's see here. Should I buy a thousand contracts? Yeah, I'm gonna go to Wall Street bets. I, I heard they're really good with options. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I just wanted to. <laughs> oh man, I'm just trolling you guys. No, I'm not gonna buy a thousand contracts. Yeah, man, I, I just got a headache. Like, there's so many things. Like, everyone is saying different things. I don't know what's up, uh, up or down anymore. I literally don't. You know what I'm gonna do? MCOA. Yeah, I know. The, the problem is it's too low price. That's the problem, yeah. But, and there's no leak. I mean, if you do the math, the dollar volume is really shitty. 
let's see. So let's say you, if you had bought, let's say, hmm, you know, if you had bought 10 million shares at 03 cents, that's only a $30,000 position. And yeah, it's like a triple now or quadruple or whatever it is. But it's still, you know, ugh, it's too thin. Like, I, I, there's no way I could ever trade this thing. And my commissions, they would be extremely expensive. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna buy fast this stock, but I don't... <sighs> Looks like I got stopped half QS. SC, I should have bought twice the size. God damn it. This Tesla is the mother of all the high tide flags. Man, that's such a juicy stock. MR Nay is still building lower highs. Maybe we'll finally get a fade in it soon. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna buy you like a <clears throat> different ones. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one. No! No! I bought the put! What the fuck? Oh, come on! This is why I don't trade options. There's so many things I can go wrong. Fucking idiot. Fuck off, guys. Seriously. Okay, so I lost 16 bucks on my, on my options trade. Okay, wait. How the hell did I buy the puts? But I was in the call section. How could I get in a... Is this a put or is it a call? Oh, puts are on the right side. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start posting a Wall Street bets, guys. Nah, I'll do 10, 10 contracts. One contract is not worth it. No! It's the wrong month! Fuck, okay, I cancelled the order. Wait, wait, wait. Man, this is so complicated. <sighs> Thankful I got to cancel in time. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, okay, I click there, and then I click... 
I'm gonna do 10, stri 10 of the January 15th, 95 strikes. Or should I do a hundred? What is the premium? I don't know what the fuck the premium is. What the, what 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 is the premium? I don't know. I don't know. How long is the set? But why does it? Wait wait wait. There's something wrong here. I took. I click here, and then I click here. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, here are the January ones, okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I know this now. I, 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 I'm getting, um... Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm uh, guys. I'm done. Like my, my my head is about to explode. The the people who do options like daily, kudos to you guys. The I mean, this is too complicated for me. There's so many moving parts. Like I I don't know. Holy shit. Like if you do one mistake, like you do too much size, you fat finger. Or you do, you know, you, you click the wrong button. I mean, you can, that can get expensive fast. <sighs> yeah, I know, it's pro it probably gets easier. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to blow up my whole account with one trade, options trade. No, I did 10 contracts, so I think it's like... Wait. The premium is the price, right? It's not 230. It's 735 or 7... 7 ish. Wait. How can it be 230? Are we looking at the... F premium is 7... Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's 7 ish. Wait. Guys, why is everyone saying different things? What the fuck? Come on, guys. Is it 2.30 or is it 7.30? I mean, for my platform is 7.30. David, help me out here. David, I trust you. You're my only friend. Do you know options? I don't day trade options. I'm I'm gonna hold for a few months. <laughs> you can't take this, guys. I'm gonna lose all all my all my viewers soon by leaps. I what what the fuck is a leap? Oh guys, I'm gonna cut the stream. I, I can't take this. Uh, this is too much. Look, guys, it's very simple. I just want to buy low and sell high. Oh, what's going on here? It's a duo. Oh, I got filled! <laughs> MRNA. Oh, no, I missed the add spot on it. Well, I did add one more, uh, two, twice, but I would have liked to add here at 150, 150 also, but whatever. I'm short 45,000 shares on this thing, so. I did, uh, I did 10 contracts of the January. 
1595 calls. I, I have no idea what it means. I paid seven thirty. No, wait. How much did I pay? No, seven. Yeah, seven thirty-five. No, yes. <laughs> you just lost a few brain cells. Now look at the delta. Delta. Should I do options on delta? What? <laughs> Is this guy an obvious trader? <laughs> uh, yes, and uh, now I am an options trader. Built on the options? I don't know what uh, what it is. Well, delta is a measure of how fast the option moves. Well, I want to. I want high delta. I want the highest delta options. I want them to move fast. <laughs> you simpleton. <laughs> the delta is 0.46. It doesn't. I don't know what it means. Needs to go to okay. What are the Greeks? Who are the Greeks? Are the Greeks good at options? Everyone's talking about the Greeks. I don't know any Greeks. Uh, we had some Greek neighbors a few years ago. Aristoteles? Did he invent options? Hey David, <laughs> you shouldn't trade options. You know, that's what a true friend says. Everyone's giving me advice on a bunch of options, like selling naked uh, puts and calls and doing these things. Davis is blunt. He's like, you shouldn't trade options. That's what a true friend does. Like, he sees moron along, like, he can. He can smell moron far away. I'm down 269 bucks on my options. Sh should I double down? No? Okay. I should ever sacrifice a goat. Oh man! This is why I, I tried. I tried to trade options a few years ago. I gave up because I didn't understand them, and I know uh, now. I remember why I gave up. I mean, you know, if you if you can choose to do something simple versus something complicated, I always choose the simple. Like my brain literally hurts. And everyone is giving me different advice. Damn. I should have bought less Doku and more uh, SC. Yeah, I need to, uh, you're self-harming? What does that mean? Hmm. 
This will end badly. Now I'm only down a hundred bucks. Hey guys, I, I wanna try the another like another uh, month. Like someone mentioned March. Should I do March options too? Like, like, like guys, it's simple, okay? I think this thing is gonna bubble in the next few months. What are the options that are gonna be the best for that trade? March 120? Okay, I'm gonna do March 120s too. I, 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 look, guys, I'm learning, and I don't. I'm not, I'm not a believer in paper trading. I want to have real money on the line because uh, if you lose, it's gonna hurt, and you always learn better if you if it hurts. So March 1921 calls. What is March 120? Uh, wait. How do I know? Wait, 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 120. Oh, here they are. 115? What's the difference between 150s? Okay, I'll do 150s then. What do you mean, give it up? March? No, not to 22. 7th? <laughs> no. Don't do 150s. What? Which one should I do then? Come on! Did like everyone's having uh, opinions? March one, what? <laughs> one hundred. David, which one should I do? Cut the stream. <laughs> one fifteens. Okay, let's vote. Can you do a vote? Wait, wait. Can you do a vote in chat? This you can do how? Draw poll. How do you do that? I'm gonna figure out how to do a poll next. Uh. Do I trust my viewers? No, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna play Warhammer after this. Bye bye. <laughs> it was fun. Do the 100s. You know what, guys? I'm gonna do one of each. I'm oh sorry. I'm gonna do ten of each. Ten ten calls of each strike. Should I do one fifteens? Because that's between one hundred and one thirty. Let's meet uh, halfway. One twenty. By the whole. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna do the one twenty. No, these are puts. Wait, wait. I almost bought the puts. Wait, this is a call. Oh, fuck. You're done. Hey guys, since I started talking options, 50 people have left the chat. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna do March. 120s. Oh, I'm green on my options. I'm up 23 bucks. Fuck this shit. Is this the call I bought? Yeah, okay. So now I have 10 of... Oh, whatever. I don't know. Come on, mRNA. Go to zero now. Nah, it's gonna bounce off the 20 EMA. <sighs> this is like watching a girl play Call of Duty. If I ever short about the VWAP, yeah, I do. A VWAP is more of a guide, it's not like a hard rule. Options millionaire, yeah. <sighs> Man, this is exhausting.
Was it as exhausting for you guys as it was for me? Ridiculous. I think I need to take a break from uh, from the screens now. How much will you make if it goes to 120? I don't know. This that's what I'm trying to figure you know figure out. I, I don't know how much I will make on these. Guys, remember this stream is free. It's for free. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I saw the graph from my options. I didn't get it. The line went down. Oh, gee. <laughs> You're losing brain cells. Yeah, nothing is really for free. That's true. The price, the the price you pay, or uh, your brain cells. Doku, did I get stopped out of Doku? Yep. Okay. Oh, on the other end, SC is going straight up, which is good. Fastly puts, but why would I do the puts if uh, if I think it's gonna go up? Oh. I didn't know there were so many options experts in the chat. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go one last. Uh, review of my portfolio. There are still things setting up. A lot of things are setting up for next week. I'm, I'm kind of excited, to be honest. Tesla, Mara, Riot. A bunch of these EV stocks. Man, SC. Why didn't I buy more? <sighs> Institutions? Um, well, most of the stocks I'm excited about, uh, they are these micro and small cap pumps. Well, I need to sh see how I'm doing with the options. No, I'm down on both. How can I be down on both if the stock is going up? Oh, because I bought them. Uh, oh, okay. But how, how can I see? Like... If I had bought these options like an hour ago, would they have been cheaper? Like, let's say if I bought the options right here when the stock started breaking out like an hour ago, would the options have been... They would have? January 15, 190s? Um... Okay, I'll buy the January 15 190s then. I'll buy 10 of those too. Where is January? January fi 15... No, don't do that. One nineties. Why not the two hundreds? Yeah, that's what I've been saying, guys. It's like five times. I think fastly. 
is gonna couple in the next uh, double in the next couple of months. Which options are the best to uh, to do? <laughs> That's literally what I've been saying. I think it's gonna double. The 190s is a lottery ticket. Uh, January is too soon. When do you think? I don't know. I mean, uh, I January, February, something like that. March? Yeah, I have the January and I have the March. Oh, I shoot the February ones. It's in between. <laughs> yeah, the stock is going to couple in the next double months. That's what I said. <laughs> February 115th. But how do you look at the delta? Where is delta? Oh, but I don't know what it means. Should I look at the low number or high number on delta? There are no febs. Yeah, there are no February ones. Oh, my dude, if you think your brain hurts, my brain hurts. Okay, guys, it, it, okay, I, I, I bought two, two of them. Maybe I'll buy, uh, you know what? I'm going to do one option straight per day from now on. That's the only way to learn. Repetition, that's the key. Oh. No? Yes. That's a great idea. And now we lost like 80 viewers since I started talking about options. Buy five? Tomorrow I'm going to buy 50 contracts. I don't care about viewers. I think I just thought it was funny. <laughs> um, am, oh, mRNA! Nice! What if it goes to 140 today? The money I'm gonna lose on options, I'm gonna make it uh, in other stuff. Snow, oh man. That's gonna be a multi million dollar trade once it sets up. Maybe I'll do it with options. A few thousand contracts. OMG. So right now, wait, where do I see those? Oh, there they are. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, there they are. Uh, so first, yeah, yeah, I took a loss on the put I accidentally bought. So I'm long 10 March 120 calls and long 10... January 95 calls. Let's see which one uh, was better. Uh, do you know you be? Yeah, I know, I know. I got stopped. I lost 80,000 on it. Yep, yep. And it's going straight down. Yeah, it's 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 no traction on this thing. No traction on that thing. Um, Okay, I need a break, guys. Th thanks for joining. Thanks for all the good and shitty options advice. Um, and um, yeah, see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks to the moderators. A special thanks to the moderators. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Uh, have a great weekend. Good luck trading. Maybe I'll do some. Um, re uh, um, uh, maybe I'll read up on options. I have a couple of options books at home. Maybe I should refresh my memory. Don't blow. I'm not gonna blow up with 20 contracts. My max loss is like if they both go to zero or whatever, expire worthless, I'll only lose 13,000. I think.
I'm not bored with me my millions, but I want to uh, um, I want to uh, like learn. I want to learn options, like for specific scenarios. Like uh, the only way I want, to, uh, not because I want to trade them, but I think they can give you a, a very specific edge in certain scenarios. I don't. I'm not. I don't care about the leverage you you can get with them. I just think you can control risk in some some scenarios. You can control risk better. Yeah, exactly. It's always the more you know. Well, actually, the more you know, it's not always better, but sometimes it is. Okay, guys. Thank you. See ya.